It's an institution that has near mythical status in France. But according to the French press, Emmanuel Macron may be about to announce one of his most radical moves yet by abolishing the École Nationale d'Administration, or LENA. Created by Charles de Gaulle in 1945, the elite school has since educated nearly half of France's presidents and prime ministers. Jacques Chirac, François Hollande, Alain Juppé and Dominique de Villepin. Countless ministers have also managed to join the 100 students annually who get through the notoriously difficult entrance exam, as have France's top CEOs like Société Générale's Frédéric Oudéa and the CEO of Orange, Stéphane Richard. The institution was created to open access to the highest spheres of France's civil servants to the cleverest rather than the richest. In the past, Emmanuel Macron has praised it for allowing him, a boy from the provinces, to make it to the top. But it has become in France a synonym for elitism. On Monday, the French president spoke to the cameras about the fire at Notre Dame. He had been due to make another address entirely about measures to address the grievances of the yellow vests. On Saturday, and despite the leaks of those measures, 9,000 yellow vests were back on the streets of Paris, protesting for the 23rd Saturday in a row. Their numbers smaller than they were to begin with, but their demands more radical and their mood more revolutionary. None that we spoke to were interested in the future of LENA. CNN reached out to the government, but it declined to comment on the future of the institution. From Matthias Fekl is a former minister and graduate of LENA. Today there was a poll showing that almost two-thirds of uh, French citizens were against abolishing it. They want to reform it, they want a more modern ENA, a more open ENA, more international ENA, more rep socially representative ENA. But everybody knows that you have to form the elite and it's better to have an elite based on meritocracy. Already the move is being criticized as sheer populism and yet too far removed from the concerns of ordinary people whose economic difficulties have led to so much social unrest these last months. Melissa Bell, CNN, Paris.